He is the hero nobody expected. He is the hero nobody wanted. He is the hero that's just not well, very good at all. He is Jar Jar Beep. Who's a Misa? Look at those chestnuts roasting. Makes one feel hungry. It is time to go and build a base. But first we need to find where to put our base. So I'm going to send the dude that's good for scouting, which is Battle Droid. He's been doing the research, so he should have relatively good science skills. He does, 89. We're going to send him out, scout a place, and then we're going to load up on shit with everyone else, and then we're going to go and get our base built. After much searching, found the place. We have iron and we have copper. It's not the perfect spot to be. I did want to be further up here, but there's no copper and iron. I think the nearest copper is going to be the Cthunian Mines. You can't build next to a building that already exists. Right. It's time to get loaded up. Let's stack everything as high as we can in all of our characters. We're ready to go. Let's have Jar Jar Beep lead the expedition. Who's a Misa? Good. We're doing it. We're building a rabble base. We made it without too much issue. Now we need to start building stuff. First things to be built, stone, 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 and power, power, power. That's what we need. And then iron as well. As soon as we can produce the building materials, then we can build the walls. As soon as we build the walls, then we can build the buildings inside, protected. And then we can build the turrets as well. All right, let's get going. Okay, already we have bandit demands moving towards our outpost. <laughs> we haven't even built anything. Potentially it's worth appeasing them until we have some kind of defence going on. Are those bandits coming? Right, let's send in the Terminators. They are here for a reason. Are you bandit demands? War leader, bandit boss. Are you particularly strong? Nope. Let's move them forward. Form a line. Sensible thing would have been across the river. And let's attack these unprovoked, and we should start firing at them. Okay, this dude just took a bit of a uh, shot from all his friends. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. They're all very weak, though. everyone did we lose anyone t5 are you okay you are okay let's get the terminators sneaking again and let's move them back over here and let's get all the workers over here as well let's speed things up again gonna need more iron plates i'm gonna send all the idle workers into blister hill they can go and get the iron plates need 50 more at least shit I don't sell iron plates here. There's no shop. Buy blasters. It's got to be stacked then, hasn't it? So this is the hybrid stone mine. Once it works, we should be able to output building materials. Are we going to make it stack in time before the shops close? Otherwise, kind of stuck with nothing to do all evening, really. That's not such a good thing. Oh, good. We made it. Shops are still open or should still be open. Mechanical shop, maybe. Let's have a quick look in there. Oh good, got some iron plates. Not exactly as many as we'd like though. Got some copper as well. That's going to help with our power station. Our power station. So these dudes, they can go back and dump their junk. And then the rest of them, we're going to have to move on. Try and find iron plates elsewhere. Which is going to be either Don or Reth. Oh, it's got to be Don or Reth, hasn't it? Let's try that. Maybe travel and repair. I don't think they have many other shops. I think this is the capital of the Galactic Empire. 
New Starport. So it's either going to be mechanical shop or travel and repair. Let's try travel and repair. How long have we got? We got about two hours. Did you hear that? Exciting, huh? And there's no one here to talk to. Where's the shopkeeper? There's no fucking shopkeeper. He's probably died. These guys are crap at stealing, so we can't do that. Buy some clothes, go back looking good. Oh yeah, the money you gave us for the iron. It, yeah, they didn't have any. Look at this fabulous skirt, though. That would work, wouldn't it? Right, mechanical shop. This is going to do it good. So that's going to be W10 to 13. They can all go back as well. And then the rest, I'll just send them to stack to wait for the next day. W5's hopefully back by now. They are. What we can do is dump off our goodies and then hopefully get things building. This and the power is what we need. An iron plates factory to make iron plates. Good. Wind generators done. So that may mean that things will start operating slowly, but surely they're going to. I think we're going to need more wind generators. Good, we've got the iron process going, let's start that going, let's start that going, and let's get them dumped in there when they're done. W5 can do all of that. Things are going to move very... Oh wow, this has raw iron in already. We're going to start making our own iron plates, which is pretty much everything we need. One more thing we'd need to do, and that's electrical circuits, whatever they're called. It's easy to do. You don't need a building to do that. And then I can start working on the walls. Brilliant. And now it's time to get some buildings down. And then we can manufacture the electrical components. And then we can start work on building our walls. What's this need? 30 copper alloy plates. Yeah, good luck with that. 30 building materials. Okay, so we need the copper alloy plates, which means we need loads of copper, which we don't have. Oh well, let's try and do something that we can start there. Crafting, copper alloy crafting station. There we go. That can be built outside, and then we're going to need some storage for that. It's going to take a while for things to get done. I may as well start building the walls. So I think this is going to be the back of our base as much as possible. We're going to take over some bridges by the looks of it. Have I even got that the right way around? No, I didn't. That's good. We want a fair bit of space because we're going to need to fit in farming as well. I'm going to stay away from the bridges on the right hand side. And that way we don't have people running up all the time trying to walk through our base and causing problemos. There we go. Confirm. Plenty for people to be getting on with. The base is up and running. This is the interesting building though. This is where I've got all my production going on. So let's begin. This is just electrical components. The bench just looks a bit different from normal Kenchi. Medical bench, that's the same, except we can do the advanced med kit here. We have the robotics bench, which looks different, but same function, basically. There's nothing new to be done there. And then we have this, the weapon crafting station. So we can make our lightsabers. Do you know lightsabers are exceedingly easy to make? You only need fabrics and steel bars. So if we click on the queue, there's lots of different weapons you can make. I suppose that's different, but essentially it is a weapons bench. So instead of a crossbow bench, which, oh, there you go, there's a dude working, is level 60 on weapon crafting. So we're doing okay, I suppose, with some of the lightsabers that come out, but most of them I am sending to the recycler just to get rid of. Then we have this, which is a clothing crafting station or clothes crafting station, pretty much the same. But we have different things. You have some of the old clothes that you had in Kenchi, but you have a lot more things like Jedi robes, Imperial Colonel jacket and officer pants and yeah, various different things. So what I'm doing is I'm just making uniforms for my workers and gate guards at the moment and just putting those on. But I may actually start getting an army in at some point. We'll come to that in a second though. This is where you make blast parts and it's where you make energy cells for the blasters. So to make a blaster part you need a ranged weapon core and a ranged weapon barrel and that gets made there. What happens though is the resources he uses to make those they sometimes clog up this and then it just stops. So we got two of those going on and then the blaster parts come to the blaster crafting station and this is where we make all the blasters. 
I'm making E11 rifles and they go in here and yeah, the guy who's making them or the worker who's making them, it's only level 40 at the moment, so not particularly good at it. So pretty ship blasters coming out, but hopefully they get better. Now I think, I'm not sure if these were there, automated copper extractors. We also have it for iron and stone and various other things, but yeah, I think they're possibly slightly new. The mines look slightly different, I believe. This is your hybrid stone mine, which makes your building materials. And this is the iron extractor, which then goes into the plates factory. And this is the steel bars. So if you're familiar with Kenchi, maybe that would have been of interest to you. Oh yes, and we have solar panels. They give out 25 power as opposed to an upgraded wind generator, which gives out 50 at the moment. But that's half wind speed. So 100 max. These take up less space, I suppose, because these windmills or wind turbines are as close to each other as possible. Whereas these you can just stack in a row very close together. Du -du 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 -du. We have our very own Lambda shuttle. It's useless. It costs one building material to make. I think that's just a bit of decoration. We're not going to be flying anywhere in that. It does look nice though. I think it really pulls the base together. If we go in here, come on Han, go faster. This is our training room. Now I've got my gate guards, I'll get to them in a second. I've got my workers. So I don't really have much of an army, only these guys here. So the thought is to maybe import some Wookiees or maybe get some more droids or I don't know what and filling out more of an army. And then we have all the advanced training dummies to train them up on and we have loads of them so we can probably train about 30 or 40 people at a time and they will all be doing something we have farming over here the buildings are the same by the looks of it the only thing that's different is this food crafting station and that's pumping out the food cubes which we have a lot of at the moment so we're doing okay with that and finally we have our gate guards our terminators so the way of doing it, this is the best defence I've found on Kenshi. You've probably seen this before. You have an open gate here leading to an alleyway with a closed gate here. So the guns we're using, we have the advanced E-Web turret. I think that's like a repeating harpoon barrel thing turret in the original vanilla Kenshi. And we also have a mounted T21 Mark II with a light I think this is the strongest gun there is and that fires one bullet at a time whereas this baby pumps out six at a time the lights are important because if somebody attacks at night and you don't have your lights going you're not going to see them so that's the base now whilst i've been building it there have been a few bandit attacks but i've not actually had much from the galactic empire at all so we're going to go out and prod them and see if that does anything Let's send the guys out, crack this door open, and let's go and say hello, see how we fare. Well, they're instantly unfriendly. Droidka's doing work. They don't have the shields they have in the films, unfortunately. They are knocking people out like, ooh, now they've met their match. Let's bring up the overlay here. 594 they've got to take out. All right, he's in a bit of a spinning loop there. Um, the droidkas are actually getting killed. Everyone else seems to be doing okay at the moment. We're one droidka down. I'm not sure it can recover from that on its own. It's got the toughness of 22 and it's at minus 39. I think we're going to lose that droidka. How's everyone else doing? Battle droids taking some damage. Everyone else seems to be fine. Hanin starts using his lightsaber. Yeah, both the droidkas are down. We're not going to be doing this. Can we pick these guys up? We can. You need to run. You can pick up the other droids. And then Jar Jar Beep. You can fend everyone off while that goes on. Oh no, you're going to need to pick up battle droids. And you probably need to run yourself. You're not exactly the strongest fucking thing out there. Right, hand in up, how are we doing? Good, you start running. And super battle droid. Start running. 
fact, everyone's running now, aren't they? There go. Yeah, they're doing lots of little bits of damage, and then you got the attacks, which are just so fucking massive and strong that we can't do much to them. How's everyone going? We're going to need to put those droids because down and repair them at some point. Let's wait for these guys to stop following us first, though. Good, there's only one guy following us now. We'll be able to take him out relatively soon. Or maybe we should lead him to our base. What's happened there? He's given up. Nope, he's getting killed by a... Uh, a bone dog. Okay, fair enough. Let's put the droids cause down. I think it's time we get some bling to our base now. Let people know where we stand. We're hitching our colours. That's right, rebel flags. Let's open the door. Let the builders come out and build that. And let's see how we're actually doing with the Galactic Empire. We're minus eight. We need to be minus more. I want to have a red number next to it. I want to be minus 50 or something like that, see if they attack us. I don't think they come this way though. I think we're just in the ass end of nowhere and they don't care. So we're going to have to go out and attack them even more. But from that little engagement, I've realised something. And that is we're not going to be able to take them on with any regularity. We need more people. So I think it's time to go and hire an army. So we're going to go back into Galactic territory go to blister hill we go to a bar and we speak to a recruitment dude and hopefully try and hire somebody here he is my little green friend with a mohawk let's talk to him looking for recruits we'll send them to your base yes please so the way this worked is what do we want humans cthunians chiss what's a chiss i want a wookie 5,000 credits now and a little bit for each recruit when they arrive make sure you're not broke here yeah. We have a, over a million cats, so we should be fine. Civilian recruitment visit on the way to your outpost. Where are they coming from? Their recruitment centre. They're coming from over there. They're arriving. Let's go and meet them. There you go. The rebel flags flying proud there. Fuck the galactic empire. Hello. Heard you're recruiting. Okay. You asked for recruits? Hey, yeah. Got the recruits you asked for. You should talk to them, not me. Okay, so he brings over a bunch of recruits and we choose who to talk to. Sorry, it's night time, so they're a bit dark. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, heard you're looking for recruits. That's right. 2,500. So five grand plus 2,500 is 7,500. If we only get one, we're going to get more than one. Wow, he's a tall boy, isn't he? And Wookiee Marksman. Nope. I'm not going to call him Chewy because that's too... Star Warsy, so let's call him Sucky. There you go. And then Sucky needs a girlfriend. Now, if you know how to gender these, it's like chickens, I suppose. You look at something and you can tell whether they're male or female when they're a chick. These look like dresses, so I'm going to assume you're a female. That's right. Fine. And this is going to be Mrs. Sucky. There we go, we have our two Wookiees. Yeah, Chewie always looked a bit lonely in Star Wars. It'd be nice for him to have a friend to play with. Let's bring them back in and we're going to put them through our training program. Cheese and crackers, they move slowly. Right, let's have a look at their stats. Yeah, shit, all completely shit. Let's go and get rid of whatever gear they've got on them and then we'll take it from there, get them all equipped up over here. Then if we go in here, we should hopefully be able to get you armoured. We have a floating worker up here i hear it's like hot desking it's float desking so let's get you some pants and let's get your robe some pants all yeah, right this one doesn't like my pants fair enough and a robe and we need a gun or a blaster each a pretty shit blasters at the moment but that's all we can do Let's get you a few more bullets as well. Well, they got a bandolier. I'm not sure what they can take with a bandolier. Okay, it's nine. Not particularly brilliant. A trade backpack would be better than that. And this one doesn't even have a bandolier. And you are going to need some medkits. And you're going to need some robotics. If you're going to be in my main army. And of course, lightsabers. Perfect. We have two there. Right, let's send them over to the training hall. Let's set them 
to all the training dummies and as they get better at each one we we'll remove it and they just move on to the next one i mean in reality i could make a full-on wiki armor but all hail our ai masters droids are quite simply better they heal faster they don't need to eat you can put them in a skelly bed and they heal within seconds and you can heal them to almost full health so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the droid factory at Rebirth and I'm going to buy it loads of super battle droids. They're going to be my mainstay, my staple. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way forward. And then it doesn't look like we're going to get attacked by the Galactic Empire at our base, which is a shame. But once I've got a big army, I'll start taking out their little military posts. I think I'm going to have to join the Rebel Alliance, go to one of their recruitment centres and then follow the quest line there. But that's for another day. Thank you very much for watching. It's appreciated. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye. Me's a go blopsy.